If there is a character that I think gets the most amount of love despite not making it to the post-merge ever, I think Noah would take the cake. His fanbase are some of the most dedicated fans and it shows with him being brought back for the redonkulous race and his whole character being shifted in world tour to be more expressive. In fact, I think Noah being in total drama action would fix a lot of that season's issues. But in Noah's first outing, what is there to say besides he was kinda pathetic? We go from the easy strongest member of the whole series with Eva, and we go to the weakest with Noah. Noah is the self-appointed brains of the team and apparently thinks Justin is his other self since Justin has all the traits Noah himself lacks, including a later elimination. But how can we make Noah a finalist? Well, we cannot do it with base Noah. Now, unlike Ezekiel, where we can just take him at base since all his other forms don't vary enough to be helpful, Noah is a complete detriment to the group in the episode he gets voted off in, and frankly, if he just were to compete, he probably would survive an elimination, but his complete disinterest to everything is what makes him a surefire boo at some point. Instead, I think either the final episode version of Noah or Total Drama World Tour are the starting points for a Noah that is competent enough to make it far. Episode 2 and 3 of Zero changes as there would be no reason for Noah to converse with Ezekiel or Eva. However, Noah isn't gonna sit idly by, he's gonna start making some moves. He automatically becomes friends with Owen, like in World Tour, and he sees that Trent and Gwen have some unrequited love for each other, so he goes to Trent to talk to him about telling Gwen how he feels about her. Trent wants Noah to figure out how Gwen feels about him first, so that's what he does, going to Gwen, and Gwen would probably insult Noah, saying how it's great two nerds have to hit on her instead of just the one, and Noah would say something about how Gwen isn't his type in his normal sarcastic way. Noah would then say how he doesn't want to play Cupid, but he can sense something between Gwen and Trent, to which Gwen shoves it off, embarrassed at the idea, but then asks what his plan is in the long run. Noah says that he just wants allies so he doesn't get voted off, and doing things for people is a good way to do that. Gwen says if he really wants to help, he can get Cody to stop hitting on her and she will join him. Noah would go to Cody and would try the indirect approach while Cody is clearly in denial, but Noah gets fed up with this and grabs Cody's shoulders, telling him how Gwen has never and will never like him that way. Cody gets depressed over this news and Noah apologizes, but Cody promises not to bother her again. Noah goes back and Gwen is shocked he managed to do it and agrees to her promise and says she will see what she can do about getting Trent in on the deal. Noah goes to Cody and says that if he wants a group, that he can join his, and Cody actually accepts that deal. Now for episode 4, Noah will actually compete in round 1, but will pull a muscle while playing dodgeball and then get slammed against the glass. Everyone on his team will take him out in the next round, and it's not a great showing for Noah since he was so pathetic, but it's not the worst either, at least compared to how it was originally. Screaming Gophers will still lose once Duncan is awoken, and this is her first major change here, because Noah will have a target on his back, but compared to Lindsay, it's pretty even. Noah gets Justin on his side, as well as Cody, Owen, Gwen, and Trent to vote off Lindsay here, and she is eliminated way earlier to Heather's detriment. In episode 5, Heather will still read Gwen's diary like in canon, but this time Noah will be able to get Cody, Justin, Torrent, Gwen, Lashana to all vote for Heather, as Noah doesn't have any skills that could win them the challenge, so Heather goes here, as she should have in the regular season if she didn't have so much plot armor. Episode 6 goes basically the same, with Screaming Gophers winning after Katie and Sadie get lost in the woods and show up last. Nothing really happens besides Noah trying to push Trent to make a move on Gwen. Cody talks a bit with Beth, and they acknowledge similar feelings of feeling unwanted by the opposite sex. Katie is still eliminated here. Episode 7 goes the same with Tyler going home, but in the middle of the challenge, Noah reminds Trent to go on Barry, Gwen, and that it's messed up to have her face her fear for even longer, which he does. Getting Gwen out of the sand much sooner than in the original, though she will still be pissed about being left in longer than she wanted to. Episode 8, I could see this as a nice opportunity for Noah, Beth, and Trent to get along more, as Trent asks how he can make it up for what he did to Gwen, with Beth helping as she is the only female with them, and Noah would chime in semi-sarcastically but wanting to help Trent out more and more as time goes on, showing he can care about someone. Other new teams would be Justin and Owen, and they make an alliance together while Owen does all the work paddling, and Cody and Gwen have another conversation that's awkward, but Cody asks what he can do to attract the ladies, to which Gwen just responds with being rich helps. The Screaming Gophers still lose the competition in the end, and Izzy is chased off again, though she would have gotten voted off anyway. 
Episode 9, and we have some big changes to talk about. Heather is not here, so the mutiny within the team would not exist. Heather is not here, so Cody does not get mauled by a bear. And Heather is not here, so Heather wouldn't be the reason for the team losing here. However, I do think Killer Bass has a much more solid team in this challenge specifically. So as a result, I think Killer Bass would still win after a much closer game than in the original. So with that, Screaming Gophers have two targets. Owen for failing to catch DJ and Justin, who was just pathetic in the challenge and gave up to avoid getting shot in the face. And Justin is able to use his charm to get some votes on Owen. And Justin tells Owen that he will be safe as long as he votes for Beth, which he does. But it was all a trick and Owen is sent out. For episode 10, I think Noah would be the head chef here, and the groups would be Trent and Gwen, Lashana and Beth, and finally Justin and Cody. Justin tries to talk to Cody about how he can help him get the ladies, which gets Cody's attention, but Justin says he just has to not vote him off and instead be in an alliance with him. They can get Trent voted off, and Gwen will be all over him. Cody agrees with this. Now, I think that the Screaming Gophers will still lose in the end, even with the dessert not exploding. So at the end, Justin gets Beth and Lashana to vote out Trent with Cody's help. Noah realizes there's obviously a second alliance because he told Gwen, Trent, and Cody to vote off Justin. Episode 11, and I think Killer Bass lose like they do in canon. But Noah confronts Cody in the episode and tells him to swear on Gwen's life that he didn't vote for Trent, and he admits that he did vote for her, which makes Gwen live it at Cody. Sadie still gets eliminated here. Episode 12, and Gwen still wins it for the Screaming Gophers, but Justin confronts Noah and says that them together can make it to the finals easily and that they should join forces. His brawn and Noah's brain would conquer this game easily, but Noah says that Justin will probably just dispose of him as fast as he would dispose of Justin, which Justin agrees with and says that they better not lose another challenge. Courtney still leaves. In episode 13, I'm conflicted because Harold almost wins the challenge with the Killer Bass and only loses because he saw Heather's breasts. So this time, with no Heather, I think Killer Bass actually win. And Beth reveals that her good luck charm is from Boney Island, which Noah and Justin agree to truce to get rid of Beth since they think she jinxed the team. Izzy and Eva come back like in canon, and Eva is eliminated in the same episode she comes back on. Now for episode 16, I like doing this thing where I give a random number to each new merge contestant, and whoever gets their number picked gets Heather's key which has immunity. So Cody, Harold, Justin, and Noah are the newest contestants with them being numbered 1 through 4 and the person who gets the key is number 1 or Cody and good for him because he would most likely get voted out here otherwise. Noah wants Justin out, Justin wants Noah out, and Gwen wants Cody and Justin out for what they did to Trent. I think overall a scattered elimination here with different people voting for others. It would come down to Justin and Harold and Harold would get booted. In the hide and seek challenge, Cody notices Gwen has been caught and decides to sacrifice himself so she can get immunity and to make some amends to her. I think that the girls would agree to vote Duncan out, but Gwen would have voted Cody out if he didn't do what he did. That's four votes there, so they go to Justin and Noah who are busy arguing to each other over which one should go first and they say they're voting Duncan, to which both agree that's a fine decision, and they send Duncan home. It's time for the Notorious Bike Racing episode, and who will get eliminated here? Well, I feel like Noah would win the racing challenge, and Justin would make his second after throwing his horn from his bike on a landmine, detonating Cody's bike, and sending him flying. And Justin would be eliminated as a result. Episode 19, and I think Cody, Gwen, Lashana, and Noah are in an alliance here, and unlike in the original, DJ actually gets captured by Chef. Noah and Cody get caught together, Izzy tries to fight Chef like Duncan did in canon, and Jeff and Bridget get caught like Izzy and Owen in the original with Jeff telling Bridget to run and he'll stop Chef before getting caught and Bridget getting caught right after. Lashana has the same events occur as in canon, Gwen scores immunity like in canon, and they decide to vote Jeff off for the same reasons as in canon for why he was voted off, but this time it makes more sense since Heather isn't here. Episode 20, I think Izzy would go here only because she doesn't have an alliance and isn't as well liked as DJ or Bridget. The challenge itself isn't that important to go over. Episode 21, the teams would be Noah and Cody, DJ and Gwen, Bridget and Lashana, I think Lashana and Bridget take round 1, DJ and Gwen take round 2, and for the round that matters I think everyone is pretty even here, but I think Noah and Cody would manage to build it the fastest out of them all for an underdog victory. Noah talks to Cody and they decide to vote DJ out with Owen agreeing, and Lashana actually going to DJ and telling him the plan, and DJ, Bridget, and Lashana decide to vote for Gwen, since she wants this alliance over Noah's alliance to grow stronger. Gwen is against DJ in the tiebreaker challenge, and I think DJ would win in the end. 
episode 22 and Lashana would get out like she did in canon, sadly. I feel like there was a potential for both Bridget and DJ to have their names mentioned as well, but I don't want to flip that coin right now. Episode 24 and the teams are Noah and Cody versus DJ and Bridget, and I think Noah and Cody easily win this competition since they're both perfect for this kind of thing. Not the hiking itself, but they are nerdy enough to know which direction to go back to camp, and I think Chef would choose to take out DJ. It's the final three, and I think Cody would chicken out before Noah and Bridget. Redonkulous Race shows that Noah is able to handle a lot of disgusting challenges, and Bridget in episode 15 shows a lot of perseverance with her challenges. We just don't see that level of perseverance, I think, ever from Cody. So the finale is Bridget and Noah, where Cody will help him out by giving him his belt, which helps Noah to be able to shimmy up the pole. He gets help from Justin, who says that he didn't lose to a second place finisher, and gets the Eagles to leave Noah alone with his looks. And in the final run of the race, he is almost entirely out of stamina until Trent grabs his hand and leads him to the finish line with the rest of his team's support, allowing him to win with Bridget really close behind, and the season's alternate winner as a result. And with that, this is one of the ways Noah can win Total Drama Island. If you think it's contrived, then leave those thoughts in the comments, make the day yours, and I'll see you next time with our ne next contestant, Justin.